Hello what's up guys in this video I am going to show you how to double boot Windows 10 and Mac OS Sierra on PC. Before double booting these two operating systems you might have one of the following two options. Single hard disk or dual hard disk. If you have one hard disk for the dual boot then you need to install Mac OS Sierra first then Windows 10. So in this case you need to install Windows 10 as UEFI and Clover bootloader. Otherwise, if you use Windows 10 as a legacy bootable USB, then you can't install Windows 10 as a legacy on GPT scheme. Guided partition math. It means to install Windows 10 as UEFI, your hardest partition map should be GPT or guided partition map. To install Windows 10 as legacy, so your hardest scheme should be MBR, Master Boot Card. In dual booting process, it's recommended that you have to install Windows as UEFI. Because if you install it as a legacy, then you can't install Clover Bootloader for Mac OS Sierra on MBR scheme. If you have two hard disks, apply the following procedures. Install Windows 10 on one disk and Mac OS Sierra on the second disk. It's the best way to dual boot Windows and Mac OS. First you must install Windows 10 then macOS because if you install macOS with bootloader first then Windows 10 replace the EEFI Windows manager files with Clover files. If you did not apply this thing you can't boot into Mac operating system. You should install Windows 10 as UEFI and Clover bootloader also should be installed as UEFI. If you have installed Windows 10 as a legacy and bootloader as UEFI then it will not work with Clover bootloader. You should have two USB thumb drive to install these two operating systems. If you have Windows 10 installed as UEFI on your system so you don't need to create bootable USB for Windows 10. What you need is a bootable USB installer for Mac OS Sierra. To create UEFI bootable USB for Windows 10 and Mac OS Sierra USB installer visit the links in the description of this video. In this video I will install both operating system on separate disk. Two disks are recommended but you can install on one disk in case you apply the tips I've told you earlier. It's better to install Windows 10 first, then Mac OS Sierra. Connect your UEFI bootable USB of Windows 10 to your PC, then press the boot menu key from your keyboard. My one is FN plus F12. Select the EEFI USB device then hit enter. Choose the language and go ahead. Click and install. Click next. Choose custom installation. Again listen to the important note I told you at the beginning of this video. Now you should delete all the partitions. I have two disks and I want to install Windows 10 on one disk and Mac OS Sierra on the second disk. Select one of the drive then install Windows 10 on it. Wait for some minutes to complete the installation of Windows 10. When your system restarts, don't do anything.
if you are being asked to connect to Wi-Fi, just skip it. Click on Use Express Settings. Type your username. The password is optional. Here we go, you have successfully installed Windows 10 on your PC. So now restart your system, then unplug your Windows 10 USB. Connect your macOS or bootable USB installer to your system. Again, press the boot menu key from your keyboard until you see the boot menu option. This time select your macOS USB device then hit enter choose external USB then hit enter note if it doesn't put so you should replace your system config that placed file to your USB installer or boot with your system boot flag Now click on Utilities and this utility. Note, if you have one hard disk, select the hard disk and erase it to guided partition map. Right after the click on the partition tab, click on plus icon to curate two partitions, one for Windows and the other for macOS. Choose the both format type to macOS extended journal. If you have two hard disks, then choose the empty one, then click on the rest tab. Name it Mac HD or any other name that you want. For the format type, select macOS extended journal and for the scheme to guide it partition map or GPT on Windows. Once done close this utility window. Click continue. Continue. Agree the license agreement. Select Mac HD and click continue. Wait for some minutes. It might take around 17 minutes, so be patient. Once the system restarts, again press the boot menu key. From the boot menu, choose bootable USB installer, then hit enter. From the drives list, select boot Mac OS X from Mac HD. Now you have to perform a clean installation of Mac OS Sierra, just choose the country and go ahead. On the Curate a Computer Account page, just type your full name, account name, and the password.
here we go. The macOS Sierra is successfully installed on PC. Now I want to show you the post installation of macOS Sierra. When you install the Mac operating system, most of the time the drivers do not work. So here I will show you how you can fix them. Note, the post installation coming up is based on Wikigen's guide. Post installation link is down below. Wi-Fi solution. Most of the laptop's Wi-Fi card is not compatible with macOS. You can fix the Wi-Fi problem by doing some steps. That's somehow difficult. And the best solution to fix Wi-Fi issue, you need to buy EDMX EW7811UN EDMX Wi-Fi card. And you can download it, its driver from the link in the description of this video. Once you've downloaded the EDMX driver, open up its folder. Open installer.pkg and click continue for a couple of times. And finally enter your password. Once the driver's installation is done, restart your PC. Now you should plug in ADMX Wi-Fi card to your PC. Connect your system to wireless access point or Wi-Fi. Here we go, the Wi-Fi issue is fixed. Now download Multibest for macOS Sierra from wikigen.com. You can find the guide link in description of this video. Download Cax Utility and this tool will help you to install any Cax you want. To fix PC keyboard, download Budo PS2 controller. For touchpad and mouse problem, download Apple PS2 Smart Touch. For sound issue, download Budo HDA cache. Also download Tech SMC cache. When all the necessary drivers downloaded, click on Finder, Preferences, then tick mark Hard Disk to show all the hard drives. Open Multibest. Click on Bootloader tab. Tick mark lower UEFI boot mode. Click on build tab. Click agree. Enter the password. Finally, click on install. Open CAX utility.
then drag and drop the Budo PS2 controller, Apple PS2 Smart Touch, Budo HDA, Tech SMC, CAX to the CAX utility. Once all the drivers are installed, you need to restart your system. Before restarting your system, you should unplug the USB installer. Immediately press the boot menu key to show the boot menu option. Select EFI HDD device from the boot menu and hit enter. Now you are booting without USB installer. It was the dual boot process and you have both operating systems, macOS, Sierra and Windows 10. You can select any of them you want. Here I select Windows 10 hard disk for demo. So here once again, I would like to log in my Mac without USB, just to start the system. Press the boot menu key again. Select the bootloader drive, then hit enter. If you have any kinds of problem or question, hit a comment down below or check the article. Thanks for watching. If the video was interesting for you, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. See you in the next video.